Okay, come to the next uh, question number five, complex number problem. Uh, two data provided, particular is that complex number, is that minus three i modulus is three, and argument of is that is lie between zero and pi by two the boundaries. That means first quadrant, right? Then find this answer. Answer is available. I show this answer is i. So how that? So I take let. Is that equal x plus i y? Is that equal x plus i y? Therefore, uh, what is argument? Argument of a complex number. What is argument of a complex number? It is given in the form of Cartesian x plus i y, tan inverse imaginary part over real part. Therefore, there is tan inverse. Tan inverse y over x, right? Y over x. Okay. Also, what is z minus three i modulus? Also, z minus three i modulus is three. We write z for x plus i y. Z is x plus i y. X plus i y minus three i modulus is three. So if I rearrange the i component, imaginary part y minus three modulus is three. What is complex numbers? Modulus square root of real part square plus imaginary part square. This is square root of X square plus y minus three square equal to three. To remove the square root, square both sides, square both sides. That is x square plus y minus three. All things square equal to nine. Okay. Now expand this x square. If you square root this one, y square minus six y plus nine, okay, equal to nine. Therefore, I can take x square plus y square minus six y zero. That is one data we can derive using the modular symbol. So we know argument is that. Now we go to the answer. What argument is that this answer show that is equal to i? So it's equal to what? What is argument of is a tan inverse by y of x? Minus six over is that for x plus i y right? Is that four x plus i y? Now simplify this. What is tan inverse y o x mean? Cot inverse x o y. Cot theta is reciprocal of the tan theta. Therefore, cot. Write this one. Cot inverse x o y. Tan inverse y o x mean in the terms of cot reciprocal. Six O X plus I Y. So here cot. All right. What is cot? Cot cot inverse mean X O Y. Tan inverse tan theta means theta. The other way so tan inverse tan theta or tan in, tan tan inverse theta all similar fashion, right? This is X O Y. Minus six O X O Y. X plus i y. Now simplify that expression. So x over y. Now here we multiply up and down by the conjugates x minus i y. Six into x minus i y over x plus i y. Into x minus i y. So x o y six into x minus i y. 
So wherever you multiply with the conjugates, it becomes the real number. No? X plus i y into x minus i y is what? You know, i square is minus y. So x square plus y square. This is x square plus y square. Uh, we have this x square plus y square is 6y. Can I substitute there? x over y, 6 into x minus i y. x square plus y square is 6y. So what is that? 6, 6 cancel. x minus x plus i y over common denominator is y. Therefore, C X X cancel, I is the answer. Y also cancel, right? It's the problem that complex number, question number five in my that uh, second model paper structure type. Our next question number six. It's integration integral sine to the power 8x minus cos to the power 8x over 1 minus 2 sine square x cos square x equal the answer is provided dx equal a sine to x plus the ordinary arbitrary constant is c right you have find the constant a so i hope you work in the knowledge very neat very interesting if i watch with my uh, answer solutions So try to integrate this part. So what the idea we integrate this and we use there we see the answer come in terms of sine 2x only. Okay. So how this uh, can I factor as the sine power 8 minus cos power 8 like this? You know a to the power 8 minus b to the power 8 is how that a power 4 square minus b power 4 square this pattern then it become a square minus b square become a square minus b square form a square minus b into a uh, plus b form if you square it right, this factor like right, this pattern the so answer becomes integral sine to the power 4x minus cos to the power 4x into sine to the power 4x plus cos to the power 4x over 1 minus 2 sine square x cos square x everything integrate respect to dx Okay, further you can simplify this sine square minus cos square sine square plus cos square form also we can apply that otherwise I'll show us further simplify this, especially the uh, denominator check that integral sine to the power 4x minus cos to the power 4x they are sine power 4x plus cos to the power 4x over can I write this one as sine square plus cos square sine square x plus cos square x minus 2 sine square x cos square x Okay, because sine square plus cos square is 1. So what happened? If I show the square also, if I take a square, check that also. If I show a square, what happened? Then also 1, no. Then also it's 1. Sine square plus cos square 1. 
what happened square 4 square is this one sine to the power 4 plus cos to the power 4 plus 2 sine square cos square okay sine to the power 4x plus multiple both and double 2 sine square cos square plus cos to the power 4x okay therefore in this case minus 2 sine square cos square yeah addition is plus 2 times sine square into cos square form to remove that can i write this one sine square plus cos square that so i want to subtract the two middle term middle term should be subtracted minus 2 sine square cos square okay to so subtract this become minus 4 sin square x minus cos square from minus 4 sin square x cos square x so see check that integral uh, I can write this one sin square x minus cos square x into sin square x plus cos square x And here sine to the power 4x plus cos to the power 4x dx over okay write this completing square this can be seen if you expand this becomes sine to the power 4x plus cos to the power 4x okay the sine square x plus cos square x square that also one right so let us be 2, 2, there is no, no change in this case, no change here. Now we expand and see sine power 4x plus cos 4x plus 2 sine square x cos square x and minus 2 sine square x cos square x. Okay, that. If you write sine square plus cos square is 1, put it square, then expand it. Okay, and now this is cancer. This is cancer. I see here sine power 4 plus cos power 4 cancel here. Also, you know this sine square plus cos square is 1. We have a remaining is integral sine square x minus cos square x into dx now you can integrate this so you can change it completely one term is it sine square or the cos square change it you know this is the cos 2x cos square minus sine square is cos 2x cos 2 theta is what cos square theta minus sine square theta this is cos 2 theta but there's a minus problem so we say this is what minus cos 2x dx minus cos 2x so what is integration answer sine differentiation cos so cos integration sine we have answer minus sine 2x and differentiate the inner function 2x is 2 therefore 2 and this is shown this pattern check that and also plus c you no? plus c right plus c this is shown that pattern a sine 2x plus c therefore a 4 minus 2 the answer look is that oh, cos 2x i miss i miss here yeah, differentiate and write the reciprocal now yeah, here half half minus half when integrate problem find the integrate answer if anything in inside to be differentiate differentiate and write the reciprocal of that Cos 2x differentiation 2x is 2 reciprocal minus half therefore a equal minus half right a equal minus half next question the application of the integration the previous uh, paper one note so to those newcomers subscribe this my video then you will receive my old papers all my just uh, 
division problems so i complete so many question the vectors also this is my second prop uh, video for module paper in the previous paper also i answer such a question problem number seven the application of the integration area under curve similarly we have the area under that uh, volume under curve also so here sketch is provided here a curve the curve is called uh, in terms of like this a curve and a straight line okay and a curve is so on this y equals sec x tan cube x right the curve is y equal y equal sec x tan cube x that's the graph that drawn here and the straight line also given y equal 4 root 2 over pi into x like a y equal mx pattern right 4 root 2 over pi into x so the shaded part is this the shaded part is this the coordinates are given here you can see that simply uh, here what is x it's y value here root 2 root 2 there which becomes here four, pi by 4 this is pi by 4 so what the question the answer is provided the problem is they said if the shaded region rotate by four right angles the shaded region rotate by four right angle what happened it become like this so the pattern has become like this shape the solid form like a cone not a cone part of a cone is inside in a part of a cone some parts you to remove then only become a part then it's rotated by four right angles. So find the volume. They found the answer. They say the volume is 1 over 42 a pi square minus b pi, right? The question is rough sketch of the curve and the straight lines are shown here. Given that the volume the solid form when rotating the shaded region by 2 pi radian or 180 degrees the answer is this cubic units volume is given so find the a b constant the simple part see how to find so how to find this when generating the volume first you think without the shaded part without that shaded part here a straight line, similar here a straight line when you rotate. What the solid form when you rotate, what the solid form? It is a cone, conical shape, right? Solid cone is the diameter base of the uh, cone and rotate. So what the height of the cone, pi by 4 and what it is radius? Radius is square root 2, right? Square root 2 is the radius of the cone and height is pi by 4 therefore first we find volume of the cone but here no volume cone find the volume of the cone and you have to subtract subtract the part uh, here you have to subtract the part below the curve we have to subtract the part below the curve same here same here right then only the shaded region volume okay that's the idea find the volume of the cone complete the volume of the cone and subtract volume under the curve for this i mark the green color shaded and below that volume you have to subtract so complete cone volume subtract this volume the shaded volume right there we write those formula to calculate this hence you can find the answer they given the answer we also found this using integration then can you equate to find the a and b So if I write the formula type volume equal volume equal volume of the cone minus volume under the curve.
volume under the curve, right? Required volume equal to what? Volume of the corn subtract volume under the curve. So if I show generally, what is volume of a corn? One third pi r square height. One third pi radius square height minus uh, how to find the syllabus of the volume of under the curve the formula i worked in the previous uh, model also pi y square dx about the x axis pi y square dx integral pi y square dx okay now we substitute and see the answer one third pi what is radius of the corn square root 2 right square root 2 square the height of the corn is pi by 4 integral get the pi is out what is y is the equation square it then sec x tan cube x completely square into dx the boundaries from 0 to 4 pi by 4 now we simplify this so here nothing no integration part here but they do uh, 1 third pi r square h root 2 square h 2 2 pi by 3 here 12 okay 2 pi square no? root 2 square 2 2 pi square over 12 right minus pi integral and square root become what sec square sec square x and tan to the power 6 okay tan to the power 6x into dx boundary is 0 to pi by 4 Oh, now better we will uh, integrate separately hence come to the answer once again if i say we equal that right copy that if you work check with me when the problem is the method right I take separate with this part. I say I equal integral sec square x tan to the power 6x into dx boundary is a definite integral 0 to pi by 4 0 to pi by 4 right boundary 0 to pi by 4 okay now how to see integrate a simple method if you know that some differentiation idea what is tan x differentiation tan x differentiation is sec square x tan x differentiation is sec square x that pattern we can easily find the uh, integrate part of this so d over dx equal tan x d over dx tan x equal sec square x they have a few multiple d tan x d tan x is for that sec square x dx sec square x dx right they have got the answer i equal integral uh, sec square x dx we can write the d tan x right that is tan to the power 6x into d tan x see now what a simple problem it become now integrate respect to not x tan x integrate respect to tan x so what the answer of that one tan to the power 6 integrate basic first theory of the integration tan to the power 7 over 7 tan to the power 7x over 7 but the boundary is 0 to pi by 4 so you know upper boundary tan pi by 4 is 1 tan pi by 4 is 1 there are 4 power 7 also 1 the answer is 1 over 7 right low boundary 0 low boundary 0 tan naught is not the answer is 1 over 7 
Okay. Now I come to the answer once again shown here. So now they are for V equal they cut the two right pi square over six minus pi is the answer one over seven right or oh, pi by seven pi square over six minus pi over seven and now see answer is given there like a 42 available yeah LCM method follow that idea so 42 it becomes 7 pi square minus 6 pi minus 6 pi they shown the answer at the pattern of what uh, 1 over 42 a pi square minus b pi right okay so a dancer If I write this for that, 1 over 42, 7 pi square minus 6 pi. So compare, compare with the given answer. A for 7, B for 6. A for 7, B for 6. This is the solution using the integration application volume under the curve. Your syllabus are now newly they joined this server. Uh, I think in 2018, this year before that, they asked the area under the curve only. Very all we have this air volume. The integration applications are what area under the curve, volume under the curve, finding the center of gravity of a solid, that's applied mass. So, this is the answer. Let's see next question, next problem 8. If a variable line 3x plus 4y uh, minus lambda equal to 0. So straight line is such that the two circle equations are given. You come and stop the video, take the, my previous video check. I uh, published the model papers number 2 pure maths. The same showing these solutions here. Two circles are given are on its opposite side. Are two circles opposite side of this straight line? If I draw a diagram, one circle, another circle. The other line is here. Line should be outside. If I say one circle is S1, but the equation x square plus y square x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y plus 1 0 one circle is that the other circle is what if i say s2 x square plus y square minus 18x minus 2y plus 72 is 0 these are the two circles uh, both si uh, opposite side of this straight line right and if you have some straight line idea we have a theory what is the opposite side theory ax1 plus by1 plus c1 into ax2 plus by2 plus c2 less than 0 straight line theory particular coordinate Opposite side theory is what? AX1 plus BY1 plus C1, we can say C no matter, and AX2 plus BY2 plus C less than 0, is it? A particular given, uh, one, two points, two points are opposite side of a given straight line, then you have to substitute the coordinate into the straight line and this both together multiple product become less than zero we call opposite side of that same side being greater than zero refer your straight line theories so we can apply that idea see what are the coordinates what are the coordinates here center coordinate if you know what 
what the center of this circle if i is a center c1 how to write the center of a circle the equation is given if a equation of a circle is provided how to write the center divide the x coordinate x coefficient by 2 and change the symbol divide the y coefficient by 2 change the symbol minus plus we have a center coordinate here x coefficient is minus 2 if i divide by 2 1 minus 1 change the symbol 1 same here 1 so this center 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 also here what the center of this circle if i say c2 but the center of this circle divide this by 2 9 minus 9 change the symbol plus 9 here plus 1 9 comma 1 right 9 comma 1 so this is 9 comma 1 and how the rate you need the radius also how the radius of a circle square root of center x square plus y square coordinate square subtract the c you know generally equal what r equal to y square root of g square plus f square minus c g square plus f square minus c so here r equals r1 1 square plus 1 square minus is the last circle one radius is 1 there here what the is r2 what the radius square root of 81 plus 1 minus 78 so here 82 that's uh, 4 that's 2 second circle radius is 2 here 81 82 minus 70 is 4 2 okay now we go to the, the answer is given no is this straight line lie opposite side about this circle lambda 12 less than or equal lambda less than or equal 21 nice question super problem good simplification knowledge so think how i'm showing this if you work it's okay this confused double view or complex this question think the idea okay so first we use the straight line knowledge if a particular coordinate lie opposite side of a given line this is should be satisfied therefore i use this theory so in this straight line apply the coordinate so 3 into 1 plus 4 into 1 minus lambda into i apply this coordinate uh, 3 into 9 plus 4 into 1 minus lambda less than zero that's the opposite sign condition or this not circle that is your straight line coordinate geometry straight line chapter so here are 12 minus lambda 27 plus 4 31 31 minus lambda in less than zero uh, can I take by change by minus lambda minus 12 lambda minus 31 less than 0 so what uh, inequality idea less than 0 mean the values are uh, between the least and the highest they are for 12 less than lambda uh, less than 31 I see number 1 uh, see this is not the answer see the check the answer not available no 12, no 31 available. Uh, 12 there, no 12, 31 available. Okay. So it's not enough to get the answer. This is not enough uh, so that condition. Okay. Then we will see, try another method, right? Another method is the diagram. Also, this, see some another diagram. If you do another diagram, a circle like this, a circle this two circles are curls if a line comes somewhere here think it's the straight line somewhere here then center is here or somewhere here so center for example center here so 
they say two circles are opposite side so it can't be like that it can't be like that the line cannot be cut the circle the line cannot be here line cannot be cut the circle the line cuts what happened this circle that side but here cuts now they say line is opposite circles are opposite of the line therefore if we draw something like this see what happened like this ah uh, here cut line cut it also not satisfied line cannot be cut because one circle is okay one circle is satisfied opposite side but other one is cut no they say completely separate apart it therefore the diagram like this the diagram is like this or like this therefore what i am showing here my by my explanation the line should be outside the circle line should be outside the circle also okay so what the idea or the theory of outside the circle the radius radius length is more than the distance from the center to the line is it the distance from the center to the particular line the distance to the center of a circle to the particular line that line the height or the distance should be larger than the radius so you noted right if you note this what i'm telling you note it so the distance from the center to the particular line is greater than the radius is greater than the radius then then only line comes outside the circle therefore now we write that theory for this circle also this circle right but the theory is the line completely outside the circle condition is the distance from the center to the straight line is greater than the radius right okay yeah for now i apply that equation of inequality pattern you know the radius you know the radius now i find from this for circle s1 to this line that i is the line is what 3x plus 4y minus lambda equal to 0 straight line how do you found this straight line perpendicular height straight line theory ax1 plus by1 plus c over square root of the x coefficient plus y coefficient the perpendicular height from particular point to a given straight line so apply that 1 comma 1 to this line so modulus put the x for 1 3 y for 1 4 minus lambda over square root of the x coefficient square 9 plus y coefficient square 16 ah uh, this should be what greater or equal okay radius 1 so if you simplify 7 minus lambda over 5 greater or equal 1 to remove the modulus sign square root so if you square root and cross multiple 7 minus lambda square greater or equal 25 okay square root cross multiple i take this side 7 minus lambda square minus 25 greater or equal 0 how can i factorize that a minus b a plus b pattern that is 7 minus lambda minus 5 7 minus lambda plus 5 greater or equal 0 I show here that is what uh, two minus lambda into here what twelve uh, minus lambda greater or equal zero. 
So what happened is greater or equal zero comes the answer for inequality. Solutions are between least and the highest, between small and the uh, uh, between smallest and the largest. Okay, therefore here two less than or equal and uh, less than or equal twelve, right? This is our second inequality. Second inequality of the straight line completely outside the particular circle. I know this circle. I will follow same idea for the other circle. Same method. Copy for this. From this, if you draw a perpendicular height to that line, should be larger than its radius, right? So if I show that idea, modulus, right? X for three twenty seven plus y for one four. Minus lambda over square root the same 25, right? That is greater or equal the second radius is 2. And then here you can connect another inequality. So there is a 31. Minus lambda over 5 modulus greater or equal to, to remove the modulus to be square, you know, square and cross multiple, it becomes 31 minus lambda square greater or equal to multiple 25, is it? Simplify. Then, similar, you can get another inequality form. Another inequality by solving this, uh, like as I mentioned here, take the 50, that's I make the a square minus b square pattern. Here, two. Check what the radius of the previous is, square root 2. Check it, square root 2. Square root 2. The plus second radius is what? g square plus f square square. That is 2. Okay, 2 is okay, 2. Second by 25, square it both sides. Here 25, here 400, is it? 100. Okay, so what does that factorize? 31 minus lambda minus 10. 31 minus lambda plus 10. Is it greater or equal 0? The factorized form greater or equal 0. For the 21 minus lambda, here 41 minus lambda, greater or equal 0. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the boundaries values are between least and the highest. Between least and the highest, right? This is uh, 21 to 41, greater than 0. I missed the first one. Okay, well, we got the first one is. Um, okay, so here I missed that inequality. What is greater than zero means what? Less than the least, larger than the higher. I missed that. Check it. So here, two and twelve are the two values. So lambda smaller or equal to two and. Greater or equal to 12. Correct it, correct it. I miss that. Greater than 0 comes what? Less than the least, more than the highest. Similar here also. Uh, lambda less than or equal 21. And lambda greater or equal 41. I say third inequality. So a long problem, like I said, and question. But if you want to work here after simple, you can minimize your steps. And now I show this all three inequality along a number line pattern and tell you the answer what they ask. See my first my first inequality lambda should be between 12 and 31. Between the 12 and 31. Between the 12 and 31, lambda is between 12 and 31. Check the second inequality. Our second inequality, that's depending the 2, 
it's equal also here and the 12 somewhere here mark the 12 the second in equal to show lambda should be less than 2 less than 2 greater than 12 right greater than 12 is the way how to connect all the inequality and go to the final answer now I show the third inequality third one uh, 21 and 41 and somewhere here is a mark 21 somewhere here 41 21 41 right here for 21 this 41 this uh, less than 21 less than 21 and more than 41 more than 41 so when writing the inequality we need the answer for intersection intersection part see what is common for all these three number line common region is what what is common region here you can't take this not common for all to come to this i think uh, this is common see this part is mark somewhere 31 31 here uh, this part is common see all three straight line mark here this part is common so what the boundary between 12 and 21 therefore the answer is that right very important question so work with any problem again you refer that refer incorrectly but again you try how oh, i'm explaining this so it's the boundary of the lambda takes when satisfied that given information Okay, I go to the next question, the problem 9, the two parts consist A part, but that uh, find the range of a simple question, some principles don't know, they study with high level, the large problem, a simple inverse problem, the simple principle values, they forgot, they don't know how to answer such in the future and if you prepare for the exams. So find the range of the inverse function, inverse function. So I take y equal, y equal sine inverse x minus cos inverse x. So which value satisfy to this y answer? That's called range from where to where. We can apply the range from where to where, the idea. Find the range. Therefore, in this case, we can't work this, you can't solve this because two different inverses. When sign increasing, cost decreasing. When cost increasing, sign uh, decreasing. The problem. Therefore, better you completely show in one circular function, one inverse function. Do you know the theory of inverse? Sign inverse x plus cos inverse x. What is sine inverse x plus cos inverse x? Equal to what? Pi by 2. That's equal to pi by 2. Therefore, y equal. Can I write the sine inverse x is what? Therefore, pi by 2 minus cos inverse x. Pi by 2 minus cos inverse x. Minus cos inverse x. Okay. So, y equal pi by 2 cos inverse x cos inverse x minus 2 cos inverse x 2 cos inverse x right so i want to find the boundary of the y mention y find the range of the y so there what is cos inverse therefore what is cos inverse x subject it subject it i by 2 minus y into half is it okay pi by 2 minus y into half right now we write the cos inverse uh, that uh, range of the how the cos inverse range or the sin inverse range plus pi by 2 minus pi by 2 sin inverse range right cos inverse range is 0 to pi 0 to pi is the cos inverse range right now write that one but 0 less than or equal to cos inverse x less than or equal to pi principal value for cos inverse is this now put the answer 0 less than or equal 
cosinus is half i by 2 minus y less than or equal so now you find the y answer that's the solution right so can i multiply 2 plus multiply 2 0 Pi. Next, I remove this pi by 2 by subtracting pi by 2 everywhere. Then minus pi by 2. The pi by 2 cancel when I subtract minus y. 2 pi minus pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. Therefore, remove the minus y, we need the plus y. Make this plus y. Therefore, multiply minus, multiply minus pi by 2. In equal to reverse minus 3 pi by 2. Okay, therefore, that's the boundary here. The answer small as that you can write that is when write the inequality show from the small to large. That's small minus 3 pi by 2. answer right as I mentioned as y I mentioned the problem as y therefore that inverse between minus 3 pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is the solution also I make another part b part solve the system of equation x plus y equal pi by 2 I say first equation x plus y equal pi by 2 other one is sin x plus sin y equal to root 2 square root 2 we find a general method of the answer x and y find the solve solve the system of equation so this is complete trigonometry part here is linear part linear model Okay, now I simplify this. I don't put second equation. Later I apply the second. What is sine c plus sine d form? Simplify two sine at the both and write the half. Next cos subtract and write the half. This is root two. Okay, that's equal to square root 2. So I take this is second equation. Ah, now connect the both. Now connect the both equations. Sold. Put x plus y is pi by 2. I connect the 1 comma 2, 1 comma 2. Put x plus y for pi by 2 here. That is 2 sine x plus y pi by therefore pi by 4 here okay what is sine pi by 4 1 over root 2 here 1 over root 2 so root 2 cancel to here 2 cos x minus y over 2 equal to root 2 right root 2 therefore root 2 root 2 cancel show the pattern of the cos theta equal cos alpha form therefore cos x minus y over 2 equal this is 1 what is 1 mean cos naught cos naught is 1 cos naught is 1 therefore general solution for a cos theta equal cos alpha 2 and pi plus so minus that value theta 2 and pi plus so minus theta the theta is 0 right therefore x minus y over 2 equal 2 and pi 2 and pi only so cross multiple 2 x minus y equal 4 and pi i said my third equation so in this problem question is find the x value and the y value solve the simultaneous systems of equation now you can find this general pattern right for every n value you have answer n is 0 n is 1 n is a positive or negative integer value 
So if I add the both, 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3. Add these two, add the both, what happened? Plus y minus y cancel. 2x equal 5 by 2 plus 4 and pi. So divide by 2x equal 2 and pi plus 5 by 4 is the x answer. So if you add the both by cancel, subtract first equation, subtract the third equation first equation subtract the third equation then what happened there is uh, y cancel 2x equal pi by 2 minus 4 and pi divide by 2 so x equal pi by 4 minus uh, 2 and pi is a solution in terms of n we have general solutions only by apply n value you can get many solutions for x and y okay last the question number 10 it's a locus problem using a straight line show that the locus of the center of a circle uh, sorry triangle center of a triangle a triangle ABC triangle ABC A coordinate is 2 comma 5 A coordinate is 2 comma 5 B is 4 comma minus 11 4 comma minus 11 and they say show that the locus of the center of the triangle ABC where A and B are provided is that line. They mark C line on the C line on 9x plus 7y plus 4 equal to 0. That's the C passes to the vertex of the triangle, one of the vertex passes to this line, right? question is like a locus problem what is the center of centroid like a centroid idea what is center of a triangle how to find adding all the three coordinates divide by three add the all three coordinate divide by three right so if i take the center is x bar y by say m i put m is the midpoint of the triangle or center meaning because c is available i put m or is also and I take the C is alpha comma beta. C is alpha comma beta. So how the X bar they are for? X bar is what? At the 3 coordinate divide by 3. So alpha plus 2 plus 4 and divide by 3. Okay. Alpha plus 2 plus 4 divide by 3. Otherwise alpha plus 6 over 3 but if I divide separately x bar equal to what alpha I find is uh, alpha equal to what 3 x bar minus 6 equal to alpha ok therefore 3 x bar minus 6 equal to alpha find the beta also same fashion but the y coordinate of the centroid or center of a triangle y bar equal to what beta plus 5 minus 11 over 3 so if you find 3 y bar 3 y bar equal beta here yeah, minus 6 so what is your beta therefore 3y bar plus 6 okay now the idea is alpha comma beta passes through this straight line alpha and beta passes through this straight line therefore these coordinates are satisfy the equation 
के अल्फा कमा बीटा सेटिस्फाई द इक्वेशन नाइन एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई प्लस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो यू कैन पुट देयर फॉर नाइन एक्स फोर अल्फा प्लस सेवन वाई फोर बीटा प्लस फोर इज जीरो नाउ लेटर कन्वर्ट टू द अल्फा इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स बार वाई बार That's the answer. Finally, we put x bar for x, y bar for y. So nine. What is alpha? Three x bar minus six plus seven. What is beta? Three y bar plus six plus four. Zero. Now simplify. Twenty-seven x bar plus twenty-one y bar. Okay. Here fifty-four minus fifty-four. Here forty-two, forty-six, and simplify. Give the answer. Nine x bar plus seven. Answer is given. Twenty-seven, twenty-one y. Twenty-one y bar. Twenty-seven x bar. And simplify the answer comes uh, minus fifty four. Here forty two. Here twelve plus four. Therefore plus eight is it? My uh, this is minus twelve minus eight. Na? Minus eight equal to zero. Twenty seven x bar plus twenty one y bar minus eight. I mean, see the minus twenty one. Check that minus twenty one. We are missing what the actual beta part, y bar part. Three y bar. Six. Check that uh, you come mistake. Check that this equation should come this uh, minus twenty one. They are finally you write the answer. They are for locus of the point. Uh, uh, The center of the triangle is 27x minus 21y and minus z equal to zero. Right? This is my second structured model. We almost ten question. I hope I show the the other structure in the applied maths paper. So you come and subscribe and keep in touch. Then you can receive many my videos for advanced mathematics.